is Sunday and I'm recording from my department. This is the linguistics department, only a part of it. So we have something called as a graduate student's lounge. And this is that where we can all sit and work. I have a little teddy bear here. People have not been coming here for a really long time now because of COVID. So earlier, even on Sundays, today is a Sunday by the way, even on Sundays it used to be full. We used to work together, have fun together and eat together. but major mostly like do assignments together and working together kind of improves our productivity for some reason so we used to do that but uh, these days nobody is here and um, I'm working from here today because I actually went to the gym in the morning but the gym was closed because it's Sunday of course I should have checked and then I walked to the library and I saw that the library is closed and I didn't want back want to go back to my house now so i just wanted to work from campus and of course what better way to work from campus other than our department so i just came here and i had a very productive day since morning i got a lot of important things done and uh, so the thing is i'm actually a linguistic student and i don't know much of computer programming but of late our discipline requires a lot of computer programming for which i've been training myself to learn a bunch of other things so i'm doing some uh, mini online courses on say machine learning or python and r r is required for statistical analysis and uh, i started learning r in 2018 or 2019-ish around that time but uh, uh, so I used it for my other papers like my qualifying papers and stuff where I learned a great deal but now I'm trying to learn a bit more for my dissertation because I'll also need it for my future career like for my job I'm sure like because we work with a lot of real data so I was I, I always try to learn new things through that uh, through my R tutorials because at the end of the day if you're not a programmer you don't use it all the time so whenever I get time I try to keep myself up with the data related work like such as programming for statistics or whether it's just data organization or data management it kind of helps me later with my own data analysis and I've got a huge amount of data like you know I've spoken about this earlier in my vlog too that I collected data from 50 subjects in India and uh, each one of them have responded to something like I think close to 2000 sound tokens and that multiplied by 50 is a huge 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 amount of data which obviously you cannot do only with um, you, you can't you analyze them only with MS Excel, right? So you need a higher level programming language. So I use R like many other data, data scientists and statisticians and R is also extensively used in linguistics now. Uh, and I've already presented some of my study uh, results at other conferences, but what I'm doing right now is actually from or the dissertation which will go in the dissertation and also you I, I'll obviously present it at other conferences as and when they come up so far I have uh, I just got done with one uh, in uh, June you know um, that was for lab fun and over July I applied to a couple of others so those two are one is supposed to be in Tennessee Nashville and another is supposed to be in Colorado Denver so uh, whichever one comes up comes up first i'm going to present what i'm doing right now over there and i think it's quite interesting so um i was struggling a little bit last week with uh, getting uh, my data organized in a certain way so that r can read it and operate on it properly and i was completely getting stuck at a certain point but yesterday last night um, after a whole like three four days of searching online reading books and looking at many other different kinds of solutions i've finally found the solution and I'm so happy about it like these eureka moments when things work out feel like the best thing in the world like nothing can surpass it so like 
yesterday i went to the lewis beach uh, which is in south delaware and i had a lot of fun with my friends and we had uh, like we spent a lot of nice time on the beach we ate good food i had my first snow cone like first snow cone at 30 which is so weird right but yeah i did i mean back in india we don't really get snow cones we get uh, ice ice popsicles on a stick so i've had that i mean don't get me wrong i'm not that well behaved and disciplined that i didn't eat anything like that but we don't get them in cones so i just had it in a cone for the first time yesterday which was really nice and then we walked around the lewis town a little bit and it's a very nice beautiful historical town so much history in it so i had a huge amount of learning uh, experience yesterday and a lot of fun but at the back of my mind i was constantly thinking okay I, I have that thing i have that thing i have not finished it so i have to go and look up and see how to do it and then i got home at like 10 p.m and i was exhausted really tired i got completely sunburned and it was extremely hot on the beach it was severely hot yesterday and i, I have a lot of sunburn I've never burnt in India before. Of course, like in India, we never go and sit on the beach for hours like that, even though I've been to a beach in India and Goa or something. But I've not really spent hours sitting on the beach just like that. So that's, that's something that people here do. And of course, because I went with my American friends, I really enjoyed it. I love doing it. And I don't care whether I get tanned or burnt. I mean, I do care if I get burned, but I don't mind the tan, but I do mind the burn because I do have a couple of burn marks on my back and they really hurt when I touch it. So I had to come back and put a lot of ice. Anyway, anyway, regardless, I got home and I was still thinking about it and I was like, no, it's late, I'm tired, whatever, but I want to sit down and find the solution to the problem for as long as it takes. I don't care staying up late, but thankfully, I was I had already progressed to a certain level before going in the morning so I, I didn't have to spend a lot of time doing this but within an hour or hour and a half I, um, yeah around about that time I found the solution and I was so happy and I was like okay now I can go to sleep in peace and so last night I found the solution so today since morning I've been implementing it I've already implemented it in one data set and now I'm moving on to the next one and everything looks good I'm very happy and this result is like a game-changing result in the whole uh, study so I'm like super excited and I'm going to report this to my advisor tomorrow and I can already feel very excited about it but this video is for you to see uh, what Lewis was like I don't have a lot of um, foot like uh, clips of, uh, of the beach because I don't know I was just having fun with my friends but I do have a little bit so you see uh, us on our way to Lewis it was a long journey because there was a lot of traffic yesterday it was Saturday and a lot of people were going to the beach so yeah I went uh, we left from here at 11 and got there at like 2 30 it was so bad and then uh, yeah so you'll see a little bit of my journey like uh, the car ride and then you'll see the beach of course you'll see a little bit of my snow cone I got a mango flavor snow snow cone then we went to a very fancy restaurant and um, I shared my food with a friend because I'd already eaten a lot of uh, food before going to the dinner thing I had a, a huge bowl of salad and salad even though it's very filling uh, even though it's very healthy it's very filling so you can't eat too much after that but yeah I went to that really fancy restaurant and uh, my other friends had salmon and swordfish I had swordfish for the first time too yesterday from them and then we also had the flatbread uh, it was lemon chicken flatbread and it was so good i've never seen lemon on uh, something like a pizza Pe flatbread is pretty much a pizza right and i've never seen lemon on pizza but it was really really yummy and um then we walked around lewistown it's a very small town but it's very uh, like very posh and um the restaurants look very upscale and lot of like holiday going people like weekenders over there and very well dressed nice looking people and everything was very polished and uh, smart basically and I felt very good I like such places it's like a small cute 
storybook town and all the shops are very nice we went to a bookstore we also went to a cemetery where people who've died from in the 1600s until like very recently probably last year all the tombstones were there and beautiful tombstones actually it, it's funny we've actually found a tombstone where the husband has died so they engraved his name his birth year and death year and they also put the wife's um, name and then the birth year but the wife is still alive so they put a dash over there so they so I think they'll bury the wife there and um, then they'll put the year whenever she dies <laughs> it's a bit um, I don't know I don't I don't have much thoughts about it but it's a bit new for me uh, but yeah I know people buy plots for their tombstones here so that's fine uh, i just feel a bit different it's something new for me for sure but anyway i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog see ya once you're closer to water where do you think we camp out I don't know. this is too far we can go a bit closer where, oh, where are they meter oh meter parking. parking so i'm gonna be so tanned today so this is the lewis beach in south delaware I'm not being able to go into water today because of uh, some health issues uh, but maybe later if I come back again I'll go swim in this water it's so nice though so it's funny that this place where I'm standing is very shallow but in between over here it's kind of deep so yeah like you see that man walking in it's kind of deep there but this then there's this island where I'm standing where the water level is very shallow so I could walk through a little bit into water and then come to this shallow part and wait a bit. It's really nice. I love sea and water. It's quite sad that I came on a day that I'm not feeling too well. But this is nice. Those two people are my friends. And uh, this is so lovely. I've come to the beach like almost after I think three years now. Yeah, I went last to Atlantic City 
that was in 2019 around this time june or july so this is really nice after a long time it's quite crowded as you can see the people are having a lot of fun we also have another friend sitting there under the umbrella shade yes he didn't want to come to water today this one is called lewis beach i think i said earlier in the video That's me in my shadow. Right here. In the middle of water. Here. Okay. You gonna take a wave? Gotta be on the sooner. That's light. What fun. Yeah. Extra. This Lewis is pretty. This cute little town. Early 1700s. Wow. It's a historic town from the 1600s. Name on the grave thing. Yeah, it's weird. It's by his by husband and wife plot. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is the family, so but she's still alive. Oh, so they have the arrow, but the <laughs> date is not. <laughs> so, like, the six years has long. So they have this whole I guess they had to buy around. this uh, land also for this. So. 1879. That's right. Wow. It's pretty this good. Small, like 1849. See, they're all born in the 80s, 1800s. 1800s. Yeah. And somebody's got a tree instead of a tombstone. 1886 to 1985. Jeez, wow. It's hard for me to like, imagine. Like, no, like 1985, that seems like, yeah, that was like a. That's like a time that I can like under comprehend yeah but like, yeah but and 18... something starts with 1800 I'm like 1886 like... my goodness so she was 99 she was 99 yeah oh. <laughs> she almost made it to 100 those are crazy those ones with the big stones on top yeah they look That's huge wild. and then you get this old limestone 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Those are the real old stuff. Those are real old. If you go to uh, the Wells Track Church in uh, Newark, uh, you can see two stones where the, some of them would go back to like 1700s. 1700s? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, like this one. 1872. <laughs> Died in 1872. Yeah. So born in. These people lived a l long life. And now you can see the, the stone. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. Pretty. Huh, who knew Lewis held so many treasures? Oh, no, it's a baby. What? Oh, yeah, that's really sad when you see those. Yeah. yeah. Born April, died July. Aww. Pointer. Ralph dot point pointer. Even like when they died in nineteen forty nine, that's like such like a hit like forever ago. That just seems like history to me because a lot of history that they teach us <laughs> in school like, has yeah, happened in the forties. For this one it says fell asleep July twenty third, eighteen eighty five, in his eighty seventh year. Very creative. That's the way to do it. Fell asleep. These ones always weird me out. Those are the bathtubs. Uh -huh. Bathtub? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And some of these are so worn out you can barely even read anymore. Well, mine's so long. 1871. Yeah, yeah. 1753? 1753 the, this one. It's a death year. Yeah. Then birth year must be. Yeah. Or he died aged 38. Yeah, born in 1743, died in 